Hey guys, <coughs> it's Alex here. So today, as per many requests, we have clubs and ball ADs. So first we'll start with a few easy ADs, you know, just some simple ones, just some ideas of what you can do. And then we'll do some hard ones just, you know, to challenge you guys. So today I have, drum roll everyone, two guests with me. We have Alyssa. Hi. <laughs> nice. I rate that a five out of 10. And we have <laughs> Ashari. start with our simple ADs and Alyssa will be doing our first one. So, alright, so I'm Alyssa and we'll be starting with um, a simple ID with connected clubs. So I'm just going to do a roll across two arms. So you just twist your arm around and catch behind your back. So, Sasha, show me. Try it. So the clubs roll nicely down your arm. If your arm will be too behind, then it will roll side up like this. No. You have to make sure, make sure you wait for the clubs to roll down your first shoulder before you start to Okay, so I have to wait. Yeah. And make sure your head is a bit more to the side so that there's space for you to catch. Yeah, there you go. Judge, I would pay that as a role, but that was a good catch. Yeah. So, um, so make sure you twist your clubs so that they're parallel to the floor. So for the 
optimist that are out there. We finish our positive values <laughs> feed together. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, that was better. <laughs> Very interesting positive values. <laughs> and you can do both arms, so you guys can try both. So one single, one double, and the single you catch first to trap. So you do one arm, and then you can try other arm. You can, you know, see, that was bad because I was very slow in closing. What if I do my passe balance like this? So you pour afterwards. So it won't be made? Yeah. Okay, you have to touch it in the balance. Good question. Oh, in sync. You all together, guys. Different. Uh, you can do, yeah, sure thing. Good question, guys. You can do it in attitude. I mean, you guys can do it in a sidekick. Like in fuerte kick, so pretty much anything. I mean, you can even do it into like a chalet, so no hands in rotation. Yeah. Okay, so next AD. These ones will be a little bit more difficult, so more challenging. So Alyssa will show the first one. All right, so once again with two clubs. Um, there's two parts to this AD. So first we're going to do a throw, catch behind our head. And then we're going to just rotate and catch behind our back with our other arm. So once again, just start by throwing, catch behind your head. Pick up, pick up. Um, so how you do it is th make sure to throw flat, um, throw your clubs flat, and then catch your hands behind up above your head and move them a bit back so that there's space for the clubs to fall. So you do that. And then after that, spread your hands and push your right shoulder forward and then bring it around to catch behind you. Question, what if you do it on the other arm? So if for those left arm people? For those left arm people, <laughs> push your left shoulder forward and then swing it around to oh. catch behind your back. Cool. Okay, okay do we have to go? Yes. Flat. Catch. Okay, so why didn't the twisting work? Um, you have to wait for it to rotate a bit more before swinging the other shoulder. Yes. Okay. So this is, how many masteries is this Alyssa? Is this three, two, one? This is two masteries. So first one, it can be point four if you do it from a high throw. And then the second one is two. Hanging around the body. Yeah. Okay. Hanging around the body. Two. Huh? Yeah. And to make it a bit cheaper, you can, for the second one, you can do Catch in rotation. Yes. Yep. Yep. Like I should have showed. And the shadow gill. Well done. Alyssa, you can explain to someone how to do this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, what you do when you go for in rotation, you do the same thing. So, basically, just start your rotation as you go to catch the club. Yeah. Okay. A few more tries for us. Okay, good job, naturals. Ooh, okay. Well done. So next hard tricky AD will be by Gil, Ashara Gil. Okay, so um, basically like what we did before. So one single, one double. But this time you're catching behind your back and into a half fill. So Which one are we catching behind our back? The one that throws double. Okay. So and make sure you catch it in the cartwheel, otherwise it's not. Yeah. Can you do any um, acrobatics? Um, or just cartwheel? Yeah, you could do an illusion. Yeah. I don't know if I can do that. Yeah, uh -huh. you can. Shari can That's do good. everything. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, yeah. So you can do an illusion, a cartwheel, walk over, any rotation, sh chane. Um, yeah, so like, you can go. Okay. Yeah, you can do a forwards roll. Do you want to show okay. some of these examples? Rolls. Shadow. 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 Okay, so. That's forwards roll. It's Any. pretty versatile. Yeah. Okay. Whatever like is easiest for you or you feel comfortable doing. Yeah? Okay. So yeah, very good. And Sasha did it asymmetrically. Oh. So she goes oh, backwards. Really. Yeah, and the double goes backwards, which is also pretty oh. interesting. Okay, so I can do anything. Yeah. My mother's downstairs, so be quiet. <laughs> yeah, very, very good, but obviously you're not catching in the part one. Oh, I see, I see. That was better, yes. but you're trying to pop forward. Catch it. You're right. Very good. 
stuff. Yeah. Why was I not catching that? Uh, you threw so far backwards. And then she had her arm too, too much like out, so it hit her wrist instead of going into her hands. Okay. Perfect. There we go. Okay. Yeah. So you can do either asymmetric flick or just both going the same way. Mm -hmm. Cool. <clears throat> yeah. So I'll show a little nice tricky one now, which, <laughs> which will be, um, it's a famous one which, you know, overseas gymnasts do. So we start with two clubs. So I'm right-legged and I prefer my right arm, so I'm going to do right leg in front. If you're left-legged, everything applies but the other way. So we start with double. And what our arms do is our right arm goes under our leg, like so, and our left arm goes behind our back. So this is where we catch our clubs. So double. So we do double. Our right arm goes under and left arm goes behind our back. So if you are other-legged people, like some of the, they are, <laughs> um, arm, left leg, left arm goes under, right arm goes to the back to catch. So we combine this with a double flick and we catch. Right arm under and left arm to the back. Thanks, crew. <laughs> so I'll show you this way. <laughs> yeah, so have a go, my friends. Yeah. Yeah. So, Wait, so left leg you. So, so left legged. So for left legged, left arm goes under to catch your right yep. club. So here, and the other one goes behind. Okay. So when you, sorry, <laughs> so when you do double flick, your left arm catches your right club. Okay. I'm just gonna practice doing one club. Yeah. Though. You guys, so, like that's a good idea. You can practice doing one club. So one club here, and then the other club behind your back, both ways, and then you can incorporate both clubs. Quite a tricky mastery, I know. Takes some time, but it's really nice. You get a lot of points, point three for this, so it's nice. Oh, it's past. <laughs> oh, there's a couple of inches to support. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. good. So as you saw, she had a really nice relevé on point, like you can see both of them are doing. Her right arm was nice and deep under there, and so was her left behind her back, so she was able to catch. Yeah, I'm gonna need to. So, okay, when you are doing it, make sure you do your double click, uh, flick close to each other. You went like out here, so yep. your arms just physically can't actually catch that far. Closer to closer flicks. My poor mother down there. But, <laughs> so, try go. Maybe I can do straight up. Because of that arm, so yeah. right. So your right arm goes under. The leg. Make sure your arm is under the leg to get more criteria for this. See, your, your flicks are, they have to be more like lifted together. Let's do a bit different. That's what I do. Wait, so, like, this close together? No, so see, too, far. Get, too far. Yeah. See, like, mine are literally like here, like right next to each other. So, tosses must be like right next to, so, like, literally, this is how far apart my clubs are. And then all I do is do that. Also, it's helpful, it's helpful to do your tosses a little bit closer. So like instead of doing it out here because it's hard to reach all the way there, you have to make sure that your uh, right club goes a little bit back so you can catch it here. So try to make sure your right club, this one goes a little bit back so it's easier for you when you lean forward. That was closer. A few more tries, everyone. And... More tries. Oh, that was close. See, a little bit back and closer to you. Okay, we'll do three more tries all together. No. 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 Okay, one more try. We can have one more try. Oh, okay. One more. Okay, make sure you flick that one a little bit closer to yourself. Yes! Ugh, sorry. Only two A's caught it. Third A is a little bit behind. Third, third, third A's behind. Laughter. Okay, we 
we can move on. <laughs> now, we might come back to clubs, but we'll start with uh, some new ball ABs. So we'll start with some simple ones. We'll go through them, and then we'll do a bit more challenging ones. So, Alyssa, you can run a shower and, and, <laughs> and okay. show your first one. So, I've borrowed their balls. But um, we're just going to start with some simple catches. So, the first one is catch behind your back without hands. So make sure you bend your arms, so catch your wrist, bend your arms, and straight your arms above your body so that there's space for the ball Question, to Question, can I catch my elbow? No, if you catch your elbow, then you won't be able to trap it. So make sure to trap your, I mean, can I catch, my fingers? Your, catch your wrist. If you grab your fingers, there will be too much of a space in between your arms. It's that, very hard to catch. Yes, yeah, that the ball <laughs> will just fall out. So make sure to catch your wrist. So but there's definitely a trap. Okay, have a show of the okay. So, catch in between your arms, I guess. Yep. Yep, show, Josh. <laughs> have a go. <laughs> so, um, so, Josh, you need to bring up your arms so that the space between your body and your arms for the ball to land in. Sure, you straighten your arms at the exact time as the ball is landing in your back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to try? Yeah, we have a go. <laughs> okay. How else can you do this mastery? Just for an example for our audience, how else can um, you catch? with the simple, with the basic catch, you need to catch it, you need to make sure your hands are above your body above so body. that there's space for the ball to land. Okay. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Okay. Is this okay? No, you need to catch it in the, in the kick so that it's made as a kick. Yeah. Okay, well, there we go. Let's show one more time for the audience and we can move on. Good. Yeah. Um. Okay. So our next AD will be by friend Ashari to our second of the <laughs> first A. Um, <laughs> third first. So we're just going to do a small throw. And then you're going to catch behind your neck with straight palms. So throw, catch. Question: now. How yeah. do you lock your arms? So um, I do it like this. So I cross my hands. But you can also just catch with your arms together like how this was doing it before, but up. And make sure you don't push your shoulders too far back, otherwise the ball will fall through. So you just want to push your head forward, keep your arms directly up, and then trap it in between your head and arms. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a bit. Show us up. 
you have been taught well. Yeah, and you could do it in like an hour limit. So if she had like flat A balance, I ca could catch the first one. start side on to you. So we start sideways. You do a small throw and you have to turn exactly 180 to face from front to back. And like we did all those other 80s with those two, we do same thing but from behind and our arms go from out to in. So we do a bounce, out to in and we trap. So you have to make sure that it bounces in front of you. You turn exactly 180 facing these two and you trap. So Bounce, turn, and trap. So our arms lock behind, they go from out to in. So I'll show front back to you guys. So I turn it exactly 180, I look at the ball, and I trap. See, that was a little bit eh, because I caught, you know, near my bottom, but it should be a little bit higher. You guys can have a go. Thank you. Um, so can you give me some corrections? So, you didn't even bounce. <laughs> As you can see, her ball didn't even bounce above here. So you have to make sure it's a big throw or a hard bounce. And her arms were here. So it's you know easy to go out and in. You can't really trap a ball when it's like stuck at your bottom. See? Her arms went from out to in. Yeah, so how about like this? So this is where our um, throws come in, we must throw exactly, thank you, in front of ourselves and step and catch. So even if it is too far, what Alyssa could have done, she could have stepped big step and caught it, but you lose points for doing lots of steps. So, you know, it's a little bit tricky here. Have a try. Throw exactly in front of yourself. A few more goes, friends. <laughs> You can squeeze it in your butt cheeks. <laughs> Cheekily. <laughs> Pun. Very oh. punny. <laughs> yeah. We got this all sorted. So, step. Also, a different way of you of doing this, you can do through a step over the ball and trapping it. So all you have to do <laughs> is step between our legs and just catch it. So just easy way is we step and we catch, but we want to make it, you know, an AD, so we have to have no hands. So we use our kind of arms and elbows. So all you do is you do exactly the same throw. You do a step, big step, and arch to be able to trap it. Have a go. So, so as in, you could do it like that if you're, you know, younger level. But as we get older, you have to make sure you actually have criteria. So no hands, unvisual field. Good. So that was good, but maybe try not turning your hips, you know, just so it's aesthetically pleasing for the judges. That was perfect. Have two more goes. See, they do a nice big step, and the arms go from out to in. One more try. Just throw, then they step, and they trap. Good. So next AD. Oh, right. We'll be a little bit harder, so we'll do a little bit like trickier 80s, and we'll start with Alyssa. Okay, so this one also kind of comes in two parts. Um, the first part is mainly the roll. Alright, so what you do is um, you roll down one arm, and as it comes up to your chest, you bring the other arm forward. So I roll down my left arm, and I bring my right arm forward. And I bring it in front of me like a circle, so it goes over my shoulder, and then it will roll down my left arm again. So it will normal speed. And then to make this an AD, just add a rotation at the end. Like this one. Bravo! Would you like to have a go? Yes, I'd love to. So this up. Is this good? Wait, let me change the video. No, <laughs> because you need to bring your 
down in front of you in a circle in front of you. So it goes towards in you. front. Yes, but it needs to come from down to up. From okay. down to up. Yes. It mm -hmm. would go down to up, I suppose. No. De so starting. So anti clockwise. And is this anti clockwise? Yes. No, anti clockwise. <laughs> <laughs> so do a retention anti clockwise. Oh, yes. I got it. Well done. Oh, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> So you need to make sure that yes. Um, okay. So you need to make sure that after the ball goes over your shoulder, your other arm is ready to continue the roll. So do you use one arm or two arms? What arm does the ball roll out on? So I start with my left hand. My right arm comes in front and does a circle, and so the ball goes over my right shoulder, and then I continue the roll again on my left hand, my left arm, I guess. Over and um, up. Yes. Yeah. Um, how the AD now? You can try and catch in a chano with like a small kind of twist of the shoulder. Turn. A spiral turn. Yeah, like a spiral turn. Sorry? Yeah, there you mm -hmm. go. Okay. That's I'm trying to Or you could do even a passe turn. Next time you mention that for our audience prior to the Okay, so there's the spiral turn and then you can also do it in a spiral turn. How else? Um you could also Elvis? Yeah, in an Elvis, yeah. Do. <laughs> uh, okay, so you could also do it in element, just like a simple attitude balance. <laughs> um, <laughs> simple attitude. So make sure you really practice the roll so that it's very fluid. Is this a roll? No, because the ball the ball has to roll smoothly along your arms. It can't have any bumps, otherwise it won't be paid. Or it will, but it'll just have a lot of deductions. We'll have people try this. <laughs> yeah, good. Awesome. Different variations. Okay. Really nice. So our next person will be drum roll. Who will it be? It will be a Shari. <laughs> what a shocker. And she, <laughs> and she will do a challenging AD for you guys. Let's okay. have a listen. So this time it's in two parts. So <laughs> first part is a small throw and then bounce the catch in between your legs like this. Yeah. Then you just and then put it in one leg, and then a small throw over. So, small throw, <laughs> bounce, catch, you don't have to turn, but put it into one leg, and over. Yeah. Okay, everyone have a good. <laughs> How about? Yeah, that was good. Okay. Soft little yeah. and it went to the side, <laughs> and no, she was like, No, 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 Yeah. Um, so, oh, sorry. Okay, so she's just 
so it has to be closer. So throw like directly in front of yourself, and all you should really need to do is step over and trap between your legs. And okay. is there any specific way? Like, can I can I catch this like this? Um, yeah, just that's but, like, like, yeah. Okay. but it's harder to get into one leg because if you blue caught and lower down, more like how about like this? to do my yaw. <laughs> what happens if I try and do my yaw from here? Without the first catch? Um, well, yeah, but yeah. just like, if I... Oh. It's go gonna... Okay, just go, so... Yeah, so, because she doesn't have it in here, the ball doesn't stay here, so if she's here, it's gonna drop, and there's not really gonna be much force out of it, because it's it just hitting her leg. So it needs to be in between your knee and like calf. So, so tight. right in between. So really tight. Yeah. Okay. So can... Okay. So it has to be really tight. Cool. Yeah. Really tight. Wait, and wait. Yeah. This is it coming. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So you need to like, get chick mark so it comes over your head. Yeah. Is there any other way we can do this AD? Um, you can do the AD do it separately. Yeah. You can do the AD separately. Yeah, and you can throw like I mean it's probably gonna be harder, but like throw is there something like that? Catch here, but you're most likely to not. Wait, wait. Okay, I got this. I got this. <laughs> show you the roll it's just from straight arm to a turned out so the other arm has to be so instead of you know like a normal roll our palm goes all the way forward and on a turned out wrist we catch the roll so we start from the floor and we catch on a turned out wrist on like a I don't know it's like a rotation and how to call it and you catch so roll on the floor yeah so you just roll, make sure you start turning. See, that was bad because I rolled on my neck. Start turning already, and you get up. So it's pretty, you know, nice. Yeah, you guys can have a go. You can pass down here. You guys can give it one time, John. Yeah, roll it side. Yeah, okay. Um, you have to go. So her arm was forward instead of to the side, which is why I just rolled off and hit her head. So make sure your arms are exactly to the side. Okay. So now she just has to get her bed game back on. <laughs> She's a little bit lost. <laughs> Wait, okay. Sherry, would you like to do that? <laughs> we have another guest, which we'll try. <laughs> Let me just break this. Why did that work? So that didn't work because, do it again. Okay. <laughs> So her second arm, if you guys can see, her second arm was here. So instead of having two arms exactly here, her arm was like somewhere down here or like you can put it too far forward. So no, it's not going to work. You have to make sure your arms are in a straight line because that's how is the ball going to roll from straight to like bent. Like if it starts here, it should be able to finish in the straight line. So, so is that 
Yeah, and then you can move it along the way to feel it. So you hit your head, make sure it's not in the... Yeah, so turn out your wrist more. You got this. Yeah, and finish the rotation. Oh, itch, 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 yeah! Bravo! Oh, you wanna... <laughs> yeah, I was practicing. I'll be confused. <laughs> so now we have Alyssa trying again. <laughs> of how you do it. So, yeah, 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 questions? So, I hope you guys enjoyed. We did some, <laughs> yes, we, <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed. We did some easy and difficult ADs. I hope we did explain it well and, you know, showed the different variations of how you can do it, different ADs and explained it and hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys have questions, Write them down. We will be answering. You guys can ask all of us questions, um, you know. And also, big thank you to Sasha for allowing us to be thank on you. the amazing masterclass. Thanks, so guys. Awesome. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> so we do Home. social distancing. Yeah. We, we don't hug. <laughs> We're good. So, question time. Can we sit down? Someone said, yes, I have one. So, if you do, please ask away. <laughs> <laughs> oh. When swinging the clubs sideways, I keep hitting my chest on the back hand. So, which AD was this? If you say which AD, like who did the AD, then we can explain. Otherwise, when swinging the clubs, swinging the clubs, the clubs sideways, I keep hitting my chest and my back. How do you hit your chest? Mm. Or maybe, no, maybe it's the leaning down one. Chest. Oh, yeah. Chest and chest back. And back. Oh, with my back hands. My back hands. Oh, maybe it's this one. Ah, oh, okay, 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 yep. Yeah. I got you. If it's this, okay, sorry. Um, if it's this AD, then we can explain it again. If it's a different one, then, yep. Yeah. This one? Uh, just do that one again. Okay. Just explain it quickly. So, um, after you catch behind your back, when you... So when you swing your shoulder forward, whichever is dominant, you have to make sure to bring the other hand down so that the club can come out from the other shoulder. Does that make sense? <laughs> and then go to catch. Yeah, so um, apparently it wasn't in the video, so you can come back and join us. <laughs> so, I'm not sure what we can help you with if we didn't show it. I mean, it could just be um, show just circles like this. So, I mean, if you were just doing um, this, then your arms have to be straight, so you don't know, do no, don't need to feel like <laughs> this. You just have to have straight arms. Otherwise, I'm not sure what you were talking about, so we can try something else. Um, there's a question. Could you please explain how much air should be in your ball? Is there a specific pressure or it doesn't matter? Is there anything in the fig rules? Do you have a preference? So, I personally prefer, guys, have a feel of my ball. I love my ball. <laughs> 
Oh, is that like pretty good? good. It's like amazing. So I'd say that this is like, so it's like about, you know, it's like it can bounce because oh, so it can definitely bounce. It can definitely bounce, but it's also squishy. Like I can bend it this much, and like it's quite like good. And I, like you have to make sure that it's like what you like. So it's not like make sure you don't pump it up so much that it's hard to hold the ball, and then you end up doing this because you lose points. And make sure it's not too soft that you, you know, grab the ball like this and just hold on to it during your routine and just like yeah. swinging around. <laughs> and then it won't bounce as well. Yeah, so it has to be like what you prefer, you know. Make, basically make sure it can bounce and make sure you can like slightly yeah, grip it. Yeah. Just whatever you're comfortable with. Like I'm pretty sure we all pump ours up differently. Yeah, yeah we do. I think Shari's has the most deflated. <laughs> <laughs> I used to though. Mine used to be completely flat. Yeah, that's because of your broken finger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, we have a question. How can I practice the differences between doubles and singles with clubs? So you can make sure always start with single. Always start with single. Single each arm. Just do you can do single each arm, forward back, so just so you can practice it and backwards away. And then you have to just try flick it a little bit harder and faster. But it shouldn't go above your head. Yeah, it, it should, should be very... small and fast. It sh it's a very common thing. Sorry, can I show you? Yes, yes. It's a very common thing that people think double and they throw it up here and it's like slow, but it's still double. It has to be small and fast. That's the whole point of flicks. That is a throw and that's something different. So it has to be small and fast and all you do is just flick hard. So I guess that's the difference. And then you can do one arm single, one arm double. And so personally, I reckon you just 50 makes, you know, outside of gym, you can just practice it so you're able to do it really well also eyes closed you want to have a go with eyes closed that's a really good way of like making sure that you actually feel the clubs see she's going pretty well but also make sure closed eyes is a bit different but you always have to um catch the end of the club yeah, like even yeah. if you catch in the middle make sure you quickly slide it down this is a little hint for your gymnasts because you know you lose points for actually holding in the middle so yeah um, no more questions for now, but there's quite a, like still people on the thing. So if you guys have any more questions that we can discuss, then let us know. Does cameraman have any questions for us that maybe we can just have a discussion with? Cameraman, questions? Or would you like to... Questions. <laughs> okay. Um... Just ask us a question and we can discuss it. Well, what's your training program now at home? Like, do you train every day? Do you train um, I guess every second day? We, so we have five days. five days a week still. Uh, we have online trainings. Um, I mean, I personally also like stretch outside. Um, I play table tennis as well. It's good cardio. <laughs> um, it's part of our training yeah. coordination. I mean, it's pretty much the same as what we have. It's just a little bit difficult because we do it indoors, so you know you can't really do it very high risk here or yeah. anything. So we just we like actually modified. yeah just modified. Yeah. We went outside to the park with our coach last weekend, so just so we can do big throws and you know make sure we're not losing anything. So well, yeah, well our trainings are basically similar to what we used to do. We just don't do routines. We work on all our body difficulties, our body prep, I guess, just like. Um, making sure our strength and fitness is up and yeah and that flexibility we also work on like things that we like we don't really have time on in the gym because you know we have four hours and we usually do mostly routines so now we get to focus more on elements so it's kind of positive for us as well so yeah good question cameraman and More handling questions. as well, um, our coach sometimes gets us to do many repetitions of even just the basic handling just to get our yeah. execution and technique going I'm curious, are illusions dangerous? Could you make a video for it? So personally, um, I think illusions, they're not the best or easiest acrobatics because yeah. firstly, <laughs> it's quite um, hard on your knees. Like I can personally say it's just a bit painful for your knees. It's also very hard to learn for little kids, which is why, you know, you always have to have a supervisor with you just to make sure. Um, but I mean, you, yeah. We can quickly show now. Um, <laughs> so she can show and we can explain them how to do it. So for illusions, you have to make sure that when you step, you go inside your leg, not to the out. So just have a show of how we do it. Illusions. Yeah, normal. Yeah. 
And you also, yeah, sorry. And you also have to make sure, like Shari did, she used the force of her arms to keep her going. So what coaches sometimes do is play on the hands. Yeah. So they, you know, they hold their hands so they're able to, you know, monitor like the gymnast like pulling through. Because some girls they do this and then they end up doing like a turn. So I've seen the little children practice like that, which yeah. is good for the coach to grab them and also you understand them. Like, yeah. It also helps the gymnast feel like how fast and what force yeah. they need to do. It. Yeah. So it's just very fast. You go inside your leg, arms swing you. You can put your arms on the floor. You know, keep it on the floor like that. But for you know, when you get older, it's just much nicer and more aesthetically, and it's faster to have your arms on top. Yeah. Yeah. And then just make sure like your foot rotates because if you like move your body but like keep your ankle there, knees and hips then, and yeah. your whole yeah. legs. Gonna... <laughs> nice. yeah. 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 So yeah. Um, got a great question. Could you explain a little more about catching clubs at the end versus middle? How do you lose points for catching in the middle? Uh, so um, it's just incorrect. Uh, yeah. I guess incorrect handling. Technique. Incorrect technique. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Sorry. That's better terms. Um, incorrect technique to catch in the middle because um, all handling should be at the end of the club. I don't know what the, um, the little ball. The yeah. little ball. I'm also um, pretty sure that you. I think it's point one. Point one for each time you catch here. So point one for flexed feet, bent knees, bent elbows. So even if you catch by the end where your elbow is bent, you can get execution deduction for that. So everything pretty much has to be perfect. Like. But, like, as a hint, most of us gymnasts, we sometimes, you know, even if we catch the end, we just quickly, mm -hmm. like, slide it out. So, like, I literally catch the middle, but I slide it out by doing something else instead. So, it's just because you lose points. So Yeah. yeah. It's just little point ones that you can avoid. Yeah. You don't want to go into minuses just because you caught the middle instead of the end, which you can do. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, it's just good practice to, you know, catch the end. Just make sure you practice. I mean, coaches always tell you, so... Listen to your coaches. How come the top of my clubs are smaller? I cannot connect them. So yes, some clubs actually aren't able to connect. All Sorry, of us yeah. personally <laughs> like having connectable clubs. I used to not have connectable. I mean, some of us did have, you know, just different. Yeah. We have chocot. All of us yeah. have chocot. Just we have some yeah. tape on them. <laughs> so I know um, some sounds are plastic, plastic with that. and rubber. Okay. Some clubs that are all plastic, you can't put your clubs in because the plastic doesn't stretch. But because they're plastic and rubber, you can, you know, fit them in. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can still have high points without actually putting them in. But all of us have it just yeah. There's just, just more, yeah, um, yeah. A different variety you can yeah. do because we have so many difficulties and masteries that we can do now just so we can build our points. So it's just, you know, variety. Extra yeah. bonus, yeah, yeah. Um, ah, okay. I hope that helped. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if there are no more questions, even though people are still on the live, then it would be great if you ask. Otherwise, cameraman, any more questions? Yeah, uh, sometimes I've seen uh, a judge, uh, a coach um, asking you to uh, work with tennis balls. Oh, yeah. Can you explain uh, what oh, tennis ball has got to do with gymnastics? Well, I'll just start explaining while yeah. Sasha's giving her example. But basically, tennis balls helps with um, your hand reaction, like your reflexes, to get your fingers going. Um, <laughs> so we do little things yeah. with tennis balls, usually like this. Um, it's because it's small and it's like clubs are big. Like it's easier to catch something when it's big, you know, because you can see it. Mm. Tennis balls are small, so it's just harder to like constantly do something. So yeah, it's just small. But yeah, also fast. all our apparatus is like thin, I guess like it's big, but they're like thin parts, like the ribbon stick, the clubs, um, hoop, they're all like thin, um, rope even, they're like thin, so it's like good to like practice your grip. Yeah, so we just do different things like catch here, throw, it's just harder and it's good coordination because you can have like four or like three or two and you can do it at the same time, like one here, one here, just to build the, you know, whew, Peripheral coordination. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, nothing gets past you. Um, 
still a little bit confused about middle of the club thing because in a lot of AD you pour it in the middle. Oh, sorry, bad to think. <laughs> um, well, we did it. As in. Okay, well, as in you can in catch this, in this was okay. Maybe for example, this yeah, maybe. Like so as in some ads, yes, you can catch the middle, but we're talking about basic handling versus ad. So basic handling, if you're doing a dance step, if you're doing a dance step with this, this, with this <laughs> you're not going to be doing um, in the middle because you're going to lose points because the judges can see. It's going to be the end, and you can be going, you know, dance step, da 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 da. And also, yeah, so you, yeah, so if you catch a club, also, it's better not to catch the end or the middle. If you catch, you also want to catch the middle. So this is the basic handling. <laughs> I mean the end, the end, the end. You want to catch the end. But in 80s that we showed, like I did this one, you have to catch the middle. How are you going to track the club? Like, it's just not going to, I mean, you can. <laughs> I can do it. There's it's so can it's, we, but it's, it's different. A way to catch a trap. To catch it from the big end like this? Yeah, because it's a mastery, you can catch the middle. But because it's not, you know, dance, throw, nothing that's not a mastery, then you should be catching the ends at all times. Even yeah. if you do catch a mastery, like... Just slide it as quick as you can. Yeah. As in most of us, like even when we catch behind our back, we catch, uh, most of us, we always catch here. But because we do it so fast, we slide it out and we're doing something else straight away. Or that like leads hard. to another throw which goes from the middle. From the middle. So it, it really hard. depends. Like it's just when you're little and you're, you know, a coach, it's good to start from little things because as a beginner judge from us and I mean I know heaps of judges that have told us you always have to catch the end whenever you're doing basic handling. So like in a dance yeah. step, I mean And for little kids they're yeah. gonna be doing more basic handling, like they're gonna be doing more rotations, more flicks rather than um, fast paced ADs like yeah. we do. Because um, we move the clubs a lot, like really fast, so it, yeah. So, yeah, so also why the knobs there, you know, so we can catch them and, you know, do <laughs> the stuff with them. Um, so, yeah, it's just, we were just trying to help you in terms of not losing execution points. For, for simple things, yeah. yeah. Um, like when you did the mixed catch with one behind and one under, you caught them both in the middle, so that is okay. Why didn't you catch the ends? Because okay. it's just very hard. It's because <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, front one I caught in the middle, back one I caught the end. So it really, because it's a mastery, you can catch anywhere. I can catch if I wanted to drop, no. The main part of the mastery is the actual head, like catch, so it doesn't really matter about where, what part of the club you catch it, but if you continue to hold the club in the middle when you're going to try and continue and it's going to be static, that will give you execution deduction. And yeah, she was like doing this in her routine, she, when she's like getting like the clubs out, she'll move her hands. Straight away. So exactly. example, if I had this in my routine, which I don't, I would, you know, and I do straight away something else. So you can't actually tell I'm actually, I catch the end. Because of the pace of masteries we do now, we actually don't have time to, you know, mess around. We do AD after AD after AD. So we literally go from this, so if I caught it here, I would probably do another mastery from the middle, not from the end. Yeah. So it's... I feel like the main focus of that, well, about the middle part is that if you're like holding onto the middle for an extended period of time, of time then you'll yeah. lose points. Yeah. But you can... If you look up at famous gymnasts, all famous gymnasts, there are gymnasts, we all catch, you know, middle. But because, you know, we have so many ADs, we can straight away go into something else, and then something else, and then something else. Like, Even if you catch after a risk, usually you're going to re-throw, so you need to, like, hold it either by the end, I mean, by, like, the middle kind of section to re-throw. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, ADs is fine to catch in the middle, as long as... It, Judges can't really see that it's the middle. So if I call the end here, then it has to be assumed that I have something else that uses the end. Otherwise, then yes, you can lose points if the judges see it. But because of us, we are such, you know, we're elite gymnasts and we're like at a high pace. We do our routines really fast and lots of ADs. You can't actually see that we catch the end and we just move on straight away. Like, you just, you know, can't. <laughs> so, yeah, that's... Good question, hard question, hard, hard to answer, answer yeah. also, but when we were little, you're always taught to always catch the ends. 
until you get to the 2020 code of points and you have to do ADs and all you do is just <laughs> catch. <laughs> <laughs> all the thing is mainly just catch it. So, um, okay, so, <laughs> I'm glad that you got it. They said it makes sense. Thank you. So, oh my God, that's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess that's it from us. Uh, thank you for all the questions and I hope you guys enjoyed having, you know, my two guest stars here. Uh, we're the triple A's and, you know, comment um, on my Instagram, Facebook, uh, on the YouTube if you guys want anything else, like more ADs with people, you know, <laughs> whatever. Let us know if you want us back. Yeah, <laughs> let us know or I can kick them out. <laughs> no more. Thank so, you for having us. Yeah, yes. no worries. Follow Alyssa, Shari and yeah, Sasha Alyssa, on Instagram. Yeah, on Instagram and Facebook, um, Alyssa Gimgana, Google her, she's on YouTube, same as Shari, <laughs> Shari Gill. World Championships, World Cups, Australia Championships, we've been there, we've done that, so you can find us everywhere. So yeah. Also we're probably tagged on Sasha's post. Yeah, so just like go to Instagram. <laughs> you guys can go through my Instagram and find these beautiful faces. So <laughs> thanks for having us and see you maybe next week or the week after. Bye. Bye.